Hey, what's up guys, Giuseppe here. Gonna be doing a little tutorial today on how to, first of all, do a scale swap, and secondly, the difference between the MRBS and the roller bearings, which I have. Extra set of rollers right here. Got a new scale from a buddy over on the Facebook page. And then of course I got my Hot ER right here. Got some tools, got the uh, bit driver from Shirogorov driver that somebody made that I like to use, tweezers to get the bearings, magnetic driver, just easy to pick up the uh, the steel bearings, and then uh, a little bit of KPL. Let's see if we can get a little bit better light. There we go. This is nice. All right. Okay, now everything's in frame. This looks good. Okay, so we've got my hot DR here. I'm going to clean off the little edge there that we did a little mod on last time. There it is on the MRBS. Extremely smooth drop. I put a little too much lube in there, so it kind of hangs up at the end, but for the most part, MRBS give it that real fast and uh, quick drop. So we're gonna do a little uh, transplant here and see uh, if there's a big difference. I, I figured I'd do this because I was gonna do a scale swap anyways. So, I'm gonna do a scale swap. I can at least take out the bearings too, right? So let's take this apart. Props to whoever made these tools. I think it's uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Um, made of aluminum. So you're not gonna damage the screws. The tool will actually get damaged. And if you can see, mine got damaged a little bit. Not, not from this time, but from a few other times. So it's actually really nice. Um, props to him for making these because I actually prefer to use this than the real Shirogorov tool, not gonna lie, it's a little bit easier. Okay, so here's where a lot of people mess up. They take the top off too quick, scale that is, and then they end up having the MRBS fly everywhere. So what I like to do is kind of put it upside down, slowly lift, and there you have it. Here, I'm gonna zoom in here, there we go. So you can really see the bearings here. Now this is a trick that I've done. I'll take my magnetic driver and I will gather up all the bearings just like this. They're all stuck to the driver. I'll set them down and now I can take out the cage without having to worry about did I lose a bearing? Is there a bearing still in there? So I'll take my tweezers. I, I like um, a nice pair of like needle nose, not needle nose, but fine tip tweezers. I'll show you here. Fine tip tweezers like this work really well to um, pull these out, the cages. So, okay, we got the first side out. Now, you can take it up like this. Sometimes I'll flip it, but since I do have my little uh, pad down, the bearing shouldn't fly out. But as you can see, the cage will stick. So it's because I use a little too much lube again. Same trick, take my magnetic driver, gather all the bearings, run it over here again, this side of the cage, try to get them to come out. And it looks like I got them all. And we're going to set them down. So now that the bearings are out, cage is out, we can get to the next step, which is the scale swap itself. So we're going to have to take the washer out of here. Um, this one should come out pretty easy. Uh, let's see. Should be able to pull it out with the tweezers if I can get it on the edge. There we go. So washer is out. I'll have to put that in the new scale. And let me see if I have anything here. A little cloth to kind of just wipe off the internals. Get the old grease off there. All right. So now we're ready to uh, get the bearings, which I have neatly packaged in here so that I don't lose them. I should have a few extra. These are from Department 13. Oh, I forgot to, to mention that. So scale is from Facebook, but this is one of uh, Department 13's work over on Instagram. It's got the mark on the inside there. Very, very good work. I am extremely happy with this. I haven't even put it on yet, and I'm just dying to uh, to get it on the knife. Nice pivot collar. It looks like it has a, 
almost like a foul bolst uh, bolster on there um, with like that different uh, pattern, almost like a marbled pattern. And then you got the regular twill here with it looks like copper or gold dust. Really, really well done. I'm <laughs> super excited to see what it looks like on the knife. So shout out to Department 13. And that's also where this extra set of roller bearings came from. He does offer roller bearings. Um, so yeah, if you need a little upgrade for your knife and you want to try something like this, definitely give Department 13 your business. Great work, great work. All right, so roller bearings are coming out here. And these are a little bit trickier to get in the knife. I am not gonna lie. I think MRBS honestly are the easier to work with. Um, you have to get these precisely in the cage and it is a bit more of a pain in the ass, but um, I mean, you could do it, so. All right, knife is ready. I'm going to do, let's see. We're gonna take the lock side. We're gonna get the pivot in. And first thing we're gonna do is take one of the roller bearing cages. And what I like to do is just put a drop. I've been noticing lately, I've been using too much lube, um, which will then make the knife kind of hang up. Um, you almost get this really, not watery, but like a weird hydraulic sensation where it, it feels like it's holding it up. So just one tiny drop should all be all that you need. That, that's really it. So I'll put that on there and kind of run it around a bit. All right. So now that we have this on here, scale out of the way. I can start putting these in. Now, what I like to do, let me see if I can get a good um, picture here. I like to grab the roller like this. So I'll grab it like this. And what I'll do is, here's my trick that I that I do to get them in. Because if you just watch here, I'm gonna show you how what, what not to do. If you just set it in there, it's gonna go up like that. See, it's not in right. So what I've found is if you can get it to kind of sit on the cage, it's, it's not easy, but right there, it, it kind of fell in. Now, once you get the first one in, what I like to do is I'm gonna set my bearing right there. I'm gonna try to roll it in. Didn't work that time, and it is hard to do on camera, guys. But there, see, I got it in. That's that technically uh, the easiest way I found to do it is to put it on the cage, make sure it's lined up, and then slowly kind of roll it into place. And if you do it, especially off camera, it, it won't take this long. So what I think I'll do is, now that I've shown you this, I might speed up this part um, and actually just show you the final product because it's gonna take me a minute to do it. It's, it's very difficult to do under the camera here. Um, All right, guys, so yeah. welcome back. I uh, did a little editing and I am here. I've got one side of the roller bearings installed. I'm just getting the last step here. It was just really difficult to do on the camera. I have the camera way up high and I just couldn't really get a good angle here. So I decided to get most of it done so you're not watching me struggle here. <laughs> All right, so I think I finally got a little method here where I'm able to get these in a little bit quicker than I was before. And I'm almost done. So I only got like three, four left here. It, it, it's tedious, not gonna lie. This is a lot more tedious than putting the MRBS in. I know a lot of people complain, oh, I would never get a knife with MRBS. They've never handled it before. It's really much easier to put the MRBS back in than the rollers, I will tell you that. I've done this swap a lot because I have an extra set of rollers and I've been just, you know, curious what they feel like in different knives. And there is a difference, trust me. There, there is definitely a difference with the rollers um, they're a little more refined, a little smoother. You don't get the as fast of a drop, but it's, I don't know. I notice it. I wouldn't be going through all this trouble if I felt like they were the exact same, to be honest. All right. Last one. Here we go. All right. Rollers are in. So now we're going to take our new scale that we're going to put on. 
and I'm going to take the washer, make sure the washer is installed. So washer's on. What I like to do is just another one little drop of oil. That's all you need. And we're going to put the, you know what? It's probably not going to stay on. So I'm going to do that. Let's see if I can't get it to clip in here. So I'm going to take my tool, holding the back of the pivot with my thumb, or not thumb, my finger, so it doesn't come undone. All right, pivot is in. You're going to get the body screw in. Oh, almost lost it. All right, body screw's going in right now. All right, body screw is tightened. All right, I think we have a finished product here, guys. Wow, look at that. That is beautiful. Wow, just, just phenomenal work by Department 13. My goodness. That pivot collar, I mean, this looks like it uh, could be a custom division. You wouldn't even know. This is great. Let's see that action. So as you can see, with the pivot tightened all the way, it's more of a shaker at this point. Now I could adjust the pivot. Oop. I could adjust the pivot and probably get more of a drop. Let's see. Yeah, it's... Oh, wow. I mean, it is so smooth on the rollers now. There is a glassy smoothiness that you don't get with the MRBS. It's almost like with the MRBS sometimes, and depending on where how, how tight it is, you can almost feel them. Not really, but like with the rollers, you get this, it's almost like it's a revolving door. Like it's just gliding. Like you get this very, you'd have to feel it. This isn't going to come through on the video, but this motion right here, it feels like there's, n there's no resistance. Like this is just... Real smooth. Oh, so smooth. And that's why I like the rollers. It's a different feel. Let's see if I loosen the, the pivot up just a bit. If we can't get no blade play and still have a drop. Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it's still dropping. And there's no blade play. Mm. Well, I'm going to have to show you guys this outside. This is amazing. Wow. Let's go outside and I'll show you the finished product there. How about that? This is the workshop. We'll just get, you know, what it looks like. I mean, guys, this is fantastic. I'm going to wipe off some of the smudges real quick. Oh, my God. God, this looks pretty, man. Oof. This. This right here is going to be my new carry. Mmm. Mmm. Jeez. Great work by Department 13. Oh, my God. And as you can see, it is... I think I just had the pivot a little too tight because now, from a few flips, it's just dropping on its own. Not as fast as the MRBS. But it's doesn't matter. That smoothness that you get with this is just, just incredible. All right, let's take it outside, guys, and see what it looks like. All right, here's the finished product, guys. Outside so you can get a little bit better look at it. Man, this came out really nice. That's, oh, wow. I really like the um, that bolster look on the top. With the milling, that is insane. And that action, oof. So I did tighten the pivot up a little bit. Needs a few shakes to go. 
but I'm sure I can adjust it to where there is no blade play and it dropped like it did before. I um, just need to mess with it a little bit, but it is so freaking smooth right now. My goodness. Right there, that's, you can't feel it, I can, and oh my God, that's so smooth. Polishing the flats probably really brought this action up a lot a notch, but my God, this is sexy. This is sexy. Just look at that work on it. Oof. You would think this came directly from Shir Gorov. My God. Really happy with the work. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I basically just kind of wanted to show, you know, that you can add the rollers to pretty much any knife that's got MRBS. Uh, a little bit of the basic differences, in my opinion, playing with it right now. It doesn't drop as fast as standard MRBS, but there is an acquired smoothness that you get that is just oh so great. I mean, action still fires the same. You don't have any more or any less resistance. So the opening isn't gonna be noticeable, but the close, it, it, it just kind of glides. It just kind of glides shut. Hard to describe. I mean, it's one of those things you have to feel for yourself and then you'll get it. But it is, wow. So what do I think? Do I like MRBS or would I rather have the roller bearings? I mean, honestly, I mean, I'm really a fan of both. It depends on the knife. Each knife I've had is sort of different um, feel to it. Some work a little bit better with MRBS, some work a little bit better with the roller bearings, and it depends on what you want yourself. I really like the rollers. I really like roller bearings. Um, it just gives you this next level of smoothness that you don't get with the MRBS, and it just, it's like a premium feel. It's a premium upgrade that you may or may not appreciate unless you know what you're looking for, I guess is the best way to put it. If you pay attention to every little detail and, you know, you feel when you're missing a bearing or, or if there's a little bit of dust on the track and you have to take it apart and clean it, if you're one of those people, then yeah, you'll feel a difference with the rollers and you may like it, you may hate it, but I mean, that's, you know, up to you to decide if it's something that you enjoy. Personally, the rollers to me, I think it's a worthwhile upgrade. Um... Like I said, you get this unparalleled smoothness that you don't get with the MRBS, and there it is right there. I know the pivot, I, I need to add a little Loctite to mine. It, it slowly undoes itself, but there is a point where there is no blade play, and it just drops. Oh, yeah, right there. That's, that's what you like to see. It just it goes on its own, and then as soon as you get here, it just kind of goes the rest of the way. You need a little bit of effort, but... Yeah, that's what you like to see. Just kind of drops. Well, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you think I did a good job and want to see more work like this. I plan on doing a full review of my, well, the rest of my collection soon. Um, this is more just like a, I'm just trying to test the waters here, see if this is something you guys would be interested in. I know myself when I search for videos, I don't see a lot of, MRBS versus roller bearings, how to do scale swaps, stuff like that. So I figured, why not show you guys a little bit and, you know, see if anyone else is curious. Thanks for watching. See you next time.